Hello everyone, this is Jesse with Concentris and welcome to another short and sweet video. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the NetSuite knowledge base. Now, if you're not familiar with the knowledge base, it is a tool that can be enabled within NetSuite where you, your team doing support cases can log topics and solution for the most common issues that they deal with. Now, in this video, we are going to show how to publish the knowledge base on the center tab here so that you can access it. Keep in mind that the knowledge base is also available to be published on a website if you are running your site through NetSuite. I'll touch a little bit upon that as well, but the main purpose is to show it here and how that will all be set up. Now, a few things that you'll have to note before setting up, I'm logged in as an administrator here in our environment, is the feature has to be enabled. So to check that, you go to enable features, go to CRM and ensure that knowledge base is created. Uh, obviously you need to have cases available for this. So might give you some requirements in terms of what you have to turn on. Um, notice I did not turn on help desk. We'll cover help desk in another short and sweet video. Now, if you're familiar in some way with uh, knowledge base in cases, you realize that all four of these uh, records work hand in hand cases in its most basic form. Uh, don't need anything to do with topic solutions or knowledge base, but you're able to associate cases to solutions um, that you set. So I'm going to show you quickly how these all relate. So I'm going to open topic solutions and then notice the knowledge base is blank right now. And I'll show you what that looks like later. So first and foremost is your topics. Now you see in this demo environment, we have it organized uh, by an FAQ, most likely an FAQ here we would use to post into our website if we wanted to, but you could also post this on to your internal one. Keep in mind to post a knowledge base, you need to have intranet enabled in your environment as well. And then you see here, we have a top topic and a subtopic here um, under download. So same way here, you'll notice it's topic, subtopic, even more subtopics within that. So you will organize this in the best way possible for your organization. Notice here there's a column that says number of solutions and it tells you how many solutions are associated to it. So you'll notice we have some uh, subtopics here with no solutions under them. I'll open, for example, computer system tools. And we have the topic here, which is keep the computer current with latest fixes, enhancements and drivers, et cetera. But there are no solutions associated to it, okay? So you see that. However, there are others like manufacturer rebates that you can go into and see that we have two different solutions associated to it already. Now, uh, we have the solutions here, which are solutions that we create. And when you create a solution, again, we're not going into how to create it, but this is the part that you can publish onto the website. Um, you'll notice there's a display online checkbox here that you would show that you would use to display. Now you notice here, you are able to select what topic uh, you put the solution under, the solution can go under multiple topics. So keep that in mind. The design of your knowledge base is very important. So make sure that you are thinking that through before you start publishing because it can get very messy. Uh, another feature of solutions is you have the assigned to and the status. Uh, so you can have unapproved or approved. And typically best practice is the person that is assigned to this solution is usually the person in charge of approving and then keeping it current. You'll notice we do not have any knowledge base topics published at this point. So nothing is published, nothing is shown, and we're trying to see all our websites here. You also notice that it doesn't show up on any center tab here. So when you're looking for these, unless you know they're here and you go look at them one by one, you know, they're not usually very useful. So in order to publish the knowledge base uh, center tab here on your NetSuite environment. Again, we're not talking about the website, but you have the ability to do it on website as well. You're not gonna go under lists. You're gonna go to setup and you're not gonna go under support. You go, go under intranet and under the intranet, go to tabs and open up your tabs. Now, when you open up your tabs, you see this is a very typical setup for a website, right? So you can see here, we've got our about us for our Huffman manufacturing checkout pages, et cetera. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new one. You wanna make sure to select a new presentation tab. Let's name it, I'm gonna call it knowledge base, okay? 
And I'm going to put it on my Huffman manufacturer. Now you can play with the layout and the way this looks, put some messaging. Obviously I have here display and website, which is very important if I want to show it or I could uncheck it. And then you can also set your audience. Very important that you set your audience here so you know who's going to see this. I want all employees to see this. So I'm going to set it there. I could very well do all roles, different ways you can do this. Obviously you can do this with customers and vendors if you were publishing this on a... Uh, site that they had access to. Okay, so we're going to go with that. And I want you to keep an eye out here on the tabs. And you'll notice that as soon as I click save on knowledge base, we have this tab up here. here. Now, if I go to knowledge base, you'll notice it's empty. And I'm going to quickly show you how you're going to publish that. And now that's when you're going to go to list support knowledge base, right? Which we saw we have open here. And I'm just going to publish one quickly for us. So I'm going to select the topic. And we knew we had manufacturer rebates available. Put it on Huffpin. Obviously, this is if we wanted to show it on the website. We don't have to. Um, and I'm going to publish it into the knowledge base. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And you'll see manufacturer rebates is available. And in theory, when we go in here, sometimes it takes a minute to populate. So give this a second. And then you'll see manufacturing rebates appear. If it is not appearing for you, one thing that you want to go look when you publish your, your topics, and I'll publish a new one here for us to see, is I'm going to select, for example, what did we have solutions for? Let's go back and look real quick. Um, order information. So let's grab order information. We're going to put this on Huffman, throw it into the knowledge base. If it's not appearing, you may want to go in here and make sure to select your audience. Go ahead and click save. And then refresh and we should see this appear. Now, a good best practice is to make sure that you are filling out the abstract information on your solution so that you can see the information here and you can play around with HTML to have this pop in different ways. Um, how to use the uh, knowledge base is really going to be up to the, your organization, but this is a great way to have all of your company's most frequent questions, most common solutions, cases, whatever you need available for certain people on the team. You can control who sees it and who doesn't uh, by controlling the permissions. We will have a follow-up blog to this video that goes more into detail on the knowledge base function of NetSuite. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Thank you very much.